Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Cheer here. Today we're making up this classic strawberry shortcake. It's made with local fresh strawberries spooned over an easy delicious cake with dollops of whipped cream. It's a super summertime treat. You're going to love it, so let's get started. We're going to get started here by cutting up some fresh strawberries and it's strawberry season, so this works out just perfect. And we're going to go ahead and cut these into, oh, I'd say about quarters. You're going to need about two cups of strawberries here. Slip these into a bowl. Add two tablespoons of sugar and this is going to do a couple of things. Extract the juices and make them nice and sweet. Grab my spoon and give them the old mix a just to make sure they're nicely coated. Okay, we're gonna slip these in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour, just until we make the rest of the shortcake. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the shortcake, and to do this, we're gonna combine a cup of all-purpose flour with a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and four tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to grab my whisk here and mix until everything is well combined because the last thing you want is a mouthful of salt or baking powder. That just isn't good. By the way, what do you call a depressed strawberry? A blueberry. I know, a little bit corny but cute. After that we're going to add in 4 tablespoons of butter that will be cubed up and make sure it's nice and cold so it's easy to work with. I'm just going to use my fingertips here to mix this up, but if you don't want to use your fingertips, you can use a couple of knives or a couple of forks for that matter. Alright, what I've got here is a quarter cup of half and half, and if you don't want to use half and half, you can use just plain milk, or if you really want to get rich, you can use heavy cream. So I'm just going to go ahead and crack the egg in. Just give this a beating. Then we'll make a well in the center of our dry mixture. Add the cream in. I'm going to grab a fork here and start from the center and just mix it up. Until it comes together, something like this. And this is going to be a little bit sticky, but you know, don't worry about it. Next, what we're going to do is lightly flour up the surface. Put the dough on, and we're just going to kind of even this up a little bit. Make it into a round shape, and it can be of whatever shape you want. It could be square, rectangular, even a triangle for that matter. I'm going to simply transfer this to my baking tray lined with some parchment paper. So we're going to let our dough rest for somewhere in the neighborhood of about 5 or 10 minutes. And what you want to do in the meantime is have your oven preheated to about 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes. Depending on your oven, just keep an eye on it. While the shortcake is baking, click that subscribe button. Yeah, that one right over here. Because let's face it, you don't want to miss a video. Now that our shortcake is nicely done, we're just going to let this cool off for a few minutes. Okay, we're going to begin building our strawberry shortcake, and to do this, I'm simply going to cut this in half. And you have to be a little bit careful because this is fairly delicate. Next, we're going to spoon some of those yummy strawberries over the top, and make sure you get lots of juice here. Followed by some whipped cream, and this is just heavy cream with about a tablespoon of sugar whipped up to soft peaks. We have a lot of videos there, so I'll just put a link below. Slip our top layer on. Another layer of whipped cream. Topped off with a few more fresh berries. How you're going to design this really depends on you, but you know, be as creative as you like. 
And there you have it guys, our strawberry shortcake. Incredibly delicious, a great dessert or snack. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more great recipes. Don't forget to click subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.